Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Let me see. Katia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, great. How was your day? It was um, quiet. I, I rest. Nice. Okay, it sounds good. I'm glad to hear that you had some time to rest. And how about the platform? Have you been working on it? I begin the section four. Okay, you're in section four already. Nice. And how about the midterm exam? Have you done it? Yes. You have. How was it? Was it easy? Mm. So, so? It was difficult when oh. the listen. Oh, the listening part was difficult. Okay. What difficult for me? All right. The advantage is that you can listen as many times as you want or as you need. Yeah. Keep on listening and yeah. listening and you get used to it. <laughs> okay, nice, Katia. Let's see, Reina Eloisa, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, tired. Oh, okay. How was your day? I have a busy day. Oh, it was a busy one? All right. Yeah. Okay, and how about the platform, Reina? Have you been working on it? Um, I'm finishing the section three. Okay, you're done with section three. Have you yeah. also done the exam? Have you done the midterm exam? Ready? Oh, sorry. Okay, don't worry. Realizó su examen de midterm. Oh, todavía no. Okay, you haven't done it yet. Okay, okay, yeah. that's fine. Okay. Let's see, Roxana Amaya. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, so so. <laughs> so so. How was your day? What happened? I, I feel uh, sick. Oh, really? That's pretty bad. Yes. Oh, no. I, I, so you must I have a uh, headache. You have a headache. You must take care of yourself and rest. Take some rest. And let yeah. me see, Roxana, how about the platform? What section are you in? Um, finish section three. Um, Finish a uh, two uh, meters. Oh, okay. All right. That sounds I, nice. I, I start uh, section four. You're starting section four. Great. Yes. All right. Madeline, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Um, I am tired. Just tired. How was your day? I have a busy day. You had a busy one. All right. And how about the platform, Madeline? What section are you in? In section three. You're in section three. Okay, fine. Are you finishing the section three? Uh, not yet. I have too okay. much work. So. Okay. In the weekend, I try. All right, that's fine. Keep working then, that's fine. Let me see, Melvin Alejandro, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? My day, I was a very busy. Oh, you had a busy day? All right. Uh, was it fine, though? Yes, fine. Okay, that's nice. I'm glad to hear it. And how about the platform, Medwin Alejandro? What section are you in? 
Uh, today in the morning I work in the session three, uh, but I have a problem with the audience because, oh. because I, I didn't understand. Oh, you didn't understand them. Okay. So just keep on listening. You, you're going to get used to them and then little by little, you are going to understand better, okay? Okay. Keep practicing. Okay. Very well. Roberto Sarceño, good evening. Good evening, Disha. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. And you? Great, I'm good, thank you. How about your day, how was it? Uh, it's uh, very busy because it's my work. It's very hard or late. Oh. Oh, okay. What do you do, Roberto? Uh, in my work? Yep. Uh, I, I am a production manager. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. And how about the platform, Roberto? What section are you in? Uh, I finished the three section. Okay, you finished section three. And did you do the midterm test as well? Uh, no. You haven't, okay. That's fine. Let's see, Marta, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Great, how was your day? It was busy, heavy. Oh, you had a hard day today. Oh. Yes. Okay. Thank God it's almost done, right? Yes. Almost over. <laughs> okay. And how about the platform, Marta? What section are you in? Um, uh, I'm working in the section three. Okay. All right, sounds yes. good. And let me see, Reina Acosta, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Great, how was your day, Reina? Um, um, it was a little busy. A little busy, okay, fine. Uh, was it all right? Repeat, please. Was it all right? Estuvo todo bien? Sí, sí, yes. Okay, nice. And the platform, tell me about it. What section are you in? In section 3.9. Okay, great. All right, that's very nice. So let me welcome everybody to our last a class of the week, right? I can't believe it, we made it to, to Thursday. So uh, today we're having the last session of the week and this is our second week. So we are just in the middle of the course, right? And we're going to start by remembering about the prepositions and the time expressions that we studied yesterday. So we had in, on, and at, and we also get a, around in some different expressions such as early and late, right? And now we are going to do an exercise. So we keep on practicing the use of in, on, and at. And let me see, I'm going to read and you tell me the correct preposition, the correct time expression. So let's see, we got number one. Can you come? Hold on, on Monday. Monday. On, yes, we say on Monday. Number two, it rains a lot. In. In, in winter. In winter. Number three, my birthday is. It's at. at. Are you sure? Which um. one do we use for date? <laughs> oh. <laughs> we use on. on, yes. For full dates, we use on. My birthday is on the 6th of May. Or we can also use in, but if we only mention the month, 
Okay. So if instead of saying my birthday is on the 6th of May, I say my birthday is in May. Then in that case, I can use in, but with a full date, I use on. Okay. Number but, two. Uh, but in, say May in six. Um, you mean we say May 6 instead of the 6th of May, right? So it is possible to use this this way or this manner. We we can also say 6th of May, but it is not so common though. We normally say the month first and then the date, but you can use it as well. In the example, uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. of yesterday, um, um, había uno que decía mayo fifth, May fifth, May first. It says, uh -huh, it says, well, it so we uh, use, yes, in okay. that sense, we normally say the dates in this way, for example, November the sixth, or we would say, um, let's say, March eleventh. And we could also say like February 21st. So that is the way in which we normally express the dates. However, there's an option to also express them this way. So you could say November the 6th or the 6th of November, March 11th, the 11th of March, February 21st, the 21st of February. So it's possible to say them both ways. However, the most common one is this one. But, La when, forma... you use, but when you use on uh, in or in. Oh, okay. The difference yeah, here would be it. that we use yes. on with the full date. On se utiliza con la fecha completa. Así como mm -hmm. the 6th of May or on November 6th, on March 11th, on February 21st. In lo vamos a utilizar solo con los meses, with the months. So we say in May, in November, in March, in February. Okay. All right. Okay, let's continue then with number four. I usually get up in, on, or at. In. In. Mm, are you at. sure? Half past eight. At. We say at. Yeah. At because we're referring to some specific clock time. Half past eight. At. Okay. Number five. I will meet here. In. In, in two months. We say in two months. Yeah. Number six, we usually have lunch at, at, one. at, at one. Once again, we're referring to time, so we use at. Number seven, we've got English at on. 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 We use on with the days of the week on Thursday. My grandfather died in. 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 In 1987, nine Paul isn't here. At. Yes, we say at the moment. At the moment. Paul isn't here at the moment. Number 10, I'll be back. At the At. Are you sure? At. We say in, in 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll be back in 10 minutes. Number 11, I'm going to Italy. On a week. On a week or in a week? On a week. We say in, in, in a week. Yes, I'm going to Italy in a week. Number 12, come and see us. On Christmas. On Christmas. On, on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. 
Now let's repeat them so we keep on practicing. Everybody repeat. Can you come on Monday? Can you come on Monday? It rains a lot in winter. It rains a lot in winter. My birthday is on the 6th of May. My birthday is on the 6th of May. I usually get up at half past eight. I usually, I usually get, get up at half past eight. Past eight. I will meet her in two months. I will, I will meet her in two months. We usually have lunch at one. We usually have lunch at one. We've got English on Thursday. We've got English on Thursday. 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 My grandfather died in 1987. My grandfather died in 1987. Paul isn't here at the moment. Oh, is here at the moment. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'll be back, I'll be back, back in 10 minutes. I'm going to Italy in a week. I'm going to Italy in a week. Come and see us on Christmas Day. Okay, great. And do we have any doubts about this? Any questions? Maybe not. Nope. Okay, perfect. Now let's work a little bit on the platform. We are going to watch some videos and we are going to explain some different topics. Yeah, let me go there. It's kind of slow. Could you please turn off your microphones? Thank you. Okay, so we're going to start by listening to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. So let's see what we get. There, how much is it? Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. No, the yellow one. Okay, now let's practice the conversation. Do I have any volunteers to read it? Me, teacher. Me, teacher, Maritza. Maritza, and who was the other person? Sorry. Katia. Okay, go ahead, Katia, you start. 
Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. The child one is, I am no sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow is not really, really, really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It is 42 times expected. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, very well. Thanks for reading, Katia and Maritza. Now let me get a second pair to read, please. Hi, Roberto. Roberto. Me teacher. And Reina Costa. Okay, Roberto, you start. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow is really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much it is? It's forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. Is your birthday present? Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> okay, very good. Thanks for reading. And let me get a last part to read. Any other volunteers? Me Sorry. Who was that? Marta and? Me teacher. Roxana. Okay, Roxana, and then Rene, you're going to help me with the next conversation, okay? Okay, okay. All right, go ahead, girls. Oh, look at these earrings, Maria. They perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace is it one. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's 42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get, get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, very well, thanks. Now everybody repeat those. 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 Earrings. <clears throat> Earrings. Earrings. There. They. There. There. Perfect. 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 These. 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 <clears throat> Once. 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 Sure. 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 These. 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 <coughs> isn't. Isn't. Really. 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 Good. <coughs> Good. Good. That. 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 Necklace. 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 Bad. 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 Right. 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 Right there. Right, right there. there. How much is it? 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 It's. It's. it's Forty-two dollars. $42. That's, that's, that's expensive. expensive. It's, it's, it's birthday. 
present. 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 Okay. And so as you see, we use in the conversation some different demonstrative pronouns such as those. We also have these. And let me see if we got another one. Well, we keep on using once or one as well. That, thank you. We use that. And we got different examples using one and once. And that is what we're going to explain right now. So let's continue. Once. Oops. Our second lesson objective is by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, and those to express possible choices. So let's see uh, what we refer to when we mention demonstrative pronouns. Then when talking about there we go. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns this, these, that, those to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that, and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one, yes it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. One. Okay, so as you see, we have four different demonstrative, and we got this, which is for talking about something that is near to us, and that is singular. For example, when I say this cell phone or this pen, I could also say this pencil. Then I have the use of that. That is we're talking about something that is singular and also that is a far, far away from us. For example, I say that car, that bed, that notebook then I have these. These is plural and we use it for things that are near to us. For example, if I take some markers, I say these are markers. 
these are markers. And then I have those. Those is we're talking about things that are far from us. For example, we could say those houses or those apartments, those buses, and so on, right? Then we also have the use of one and ones and in order to avoid repeating, right? So here, if I have already mentioned the necklace, there's no need to say it again. I can say, how much is this one? How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? In case that the necklace is far from me. Then I say, how much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? And then in order to pick one or ask for a choice, we use one, right? We say, which one? The blue one, the black one, the yellow one, the big one, the small, the small one, the long one. Then we have a ones, which is for the plural. And let's see, here we have a, a chart. Well, um, some information that summarizes what I just said. We got this, which is for singular in something that is near us. These is for referring to something that is plural and which is also near us. And that is for talking about something singular that is far. Those is for plural and far again. Now let's practice pronunciation. Repeat, please. This. 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 So remember that this one is longer than this one. So we say this, these. This. 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 These. These. That. Those. 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 One more time. This, this, that, Okay, and then we have a short conversation to illustrate. And can you please turn off the microphones, everybody? Thank you. Okay. So here we have a short conversation that illustrates the use of one and ones. And here, instead of mentioning car over and over, we use one, right? A, we say, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? We do not say, is that your car? Which car? The red car or the blue car? So in order to avoid that repetition, car, 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 we use one. Is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. So that's how we use one in red order one to avoid the... saying the same thing. And then we have the choice, right? Which one? This one or this one? And the next thing that we are going to study today is here. So we are also going to listen to a conversation where we are going to be introduced to comparison adjectives and expressing preferences. So let's listen. Talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well... I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? 
It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, now let me have some people to read the conversation. Um, Rene, do you still want to read? Okay. All right, so we got Rene and who's reading with him? Anybody? Reina Acosta, okay. Go ahead, Reina, you start. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wolf one better. The wolf one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wall one. Mm, there is no price, no price tag. Excuse me, how much is the jacket? It's it's a uh, four hundred ninety nine. Would you like to three three it one? Right. Oh, try on. Try it on. Mm, mm. No, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Thanks for reading, Reina and Rene. Now let me have another pair to read, please. Any other volunteers? Here. Sorry, who's that? Who's reading? Me, teacher, Maritza. Maritza and? Roberto. Roberto, okay. Go ahead, Roberto, you start. Look, the jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like, I like the word one bit better. The wool one way. It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Excuse me. How, how much is the jacket? Is for hundred ninety nine dollar. Would you like to try the it on? Mm, no, thanks. Okay, but thanks anyway. You are welcome. Okay, very good. Thanks for reading. Now let's listen to the conversation once again, and then we're going to practice pronunciation. So let's see. Adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. No. Okay, now everybody repeat. These. 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 Jackets. Jackets. Really. 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 Nice. 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 Prefer. Prefer. Wool. Wool. 
Better. 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 Warmer. 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 Leather. Leather. Stylish. 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 Price tag. Price, Price, tag. Price tag. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's it's four hundred ninety-nine. Four hundred and ninety-nine. Try. Try. Try it on. Try it on. Try it on. Try it on. That's. That's. Thanks. Thanks. Anyway. Anyway. Your. 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 Okay, now let's read the conversation all together. Everybody repeat. Look. Look, 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 look. These jackets are really nice. These, These jackets are really, really nice. nice. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer? I like the wool one better. I like the wool one better. The wool one? The wool one? The wool one? Why? 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 It looks warmer. It looks, it looks warmer. warmer. Well, 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 I like the leather one better. I like, I like the leather, leather one better. better. It's more stylish than the wool one. It's, it's more stylish, more stylish, stylish, stylish than, than the wool one. one. Mm. 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 There's no price tag. There's no, There's no price, price tag. tag. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? How much is this jacket? It's 499. It's 499. Would you like to try it on? Would you, you like to try it on? on? Uh, no. Uh, no, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. okay. But thanks anyway. But but thanks anyway. anyway. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, let's continue by talking about the comparative adjectives. <laughs> so another lesson objective that we're going to to cover today is by the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. And we got this. Let's listen to the information and then we are going to practice a little bit. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer. 
I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is a smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this. Pretty. Okay, so as you see, we have two different verbs to talk about preferences. We got the verb prefer and like. And we use prefer in questions such as which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? And then in order to answer, you may say, I prefer the leather one. I prefer the blue one. I prefer the big one. I prefer the new one. I prefer the, um, what to say, small one. And then we have a, with the verb like, which one do you like better? Which one do you like better? Or which one do you like more? Then we answer saying, I like the leather one better. I like the leather one more. Or I like the orange one better. I like the big one more. I like the large one better and so on, right? Then we also have some comparative adjectives. Here we have some examples of them. And we get cheap, cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. And here we have some, some example sentences on how to use the comparative adjectives. We got cheaper than, nicer than, prettier than, bigger than, and more stylish than. And we use them, for example, when saying that one is cheaper than the wool one. So that refers to the leather jacket, right? The leather jacket is cheaper than the wool one. And this one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one and so on. Now let's practice. Repeat, please. Cheap. 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 Cheaper. 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 Nice. Nice. Nicer. Nicer. Pretty. Pretty. Prettier. Big. 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 Bigger. Bigger. Cheaper than. Cheaper than. Nicer than. Nicer than. Prettier than. Prettier. Prettier than. Bigger than. Bigger than. More stylish than. More More than. Prefer. Prefer. Like better. Like, like better. better. Like more. Like, like more. more. Okay, now let's take a look at the rules that we have for making the comparative adjectives. Okay, let me go back to the presentation and. Oh, give me a sec. Okay, here we go. So we have some different rules for making the comparative forms of the adjectives. The first rule says that for one syllable adjectives, I only add, what do I add? Then. Mm, yes, we use then, but to the adjective, what do we add? We add er, right? Er, for example, when we say strong, 
it becomes stronger. Okay, and let me provide you some more examples. We got long. Longer. Longer. Also, we have new, which becomes new. newer. Newer. And let me see another one. Small. Smaller. It becomes smaller. Old. And let's see. Old. Old. Good. That older. one becomes older. Be great. We got big is a different rule that we are going to study now. So uh, we got that for, for one syllable adjectives that take the combination consonant, vowel consonant. We double the last consonant. How come we got the case of big that you just mentioned? Big becomes bigger with double G, right? Because here in the word we have consonant and vowel, then consonant. So we got the combination consonant, vowel, consonant. And that means that I have to double the last letter, the last uh, consonant and I get bigger with double G. I also have some other examples such as fat, which becomes fatter. Also we have thin, which becomes thinner. And tell me. In the case of new, is consonant vowel consonant? Yes, I know, but not all of them take the, the same, yes. Not all of them uh, double the consonant, but um, yes. So we only have a couple of them which take double consonant, but not all. So we must also take into account that little detail, okay? So we got hot, it becomes hotter. Um, and let's see, wet would be another example. It becomes weather, weather. Okay, so those are two rules that we have. And now let's practice pronunciation. Repeat, please. Strong, stronger. Strong, strong stronger. Long, longer. Long, long, long. New, newer. New, 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 newer, 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 small, smaller, small, smaller, smaller, old, older, old, older, older, big, bigger, big, bigger, fat, fatter, fat, 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 thin, thinner. Okay, then another rule that we have to take into account is for verbs ending in E. For verbs and I mean verbs, sorry, I mean adjectives. So adjectives ending in E take um, take only R. So we add only R. And we get, for example, large. It becomes larger. And oh, we also have the example of nice, which becomes nicer. Then another kind of adjective that we can find is adjectives that end in in Y.
for those ones, we take out the Y, we delete the Y, and we add I, E, R instead. For example, in the case of pretty, which becomes prettier. Or we also have dry, which becomes drier. Whoops, sorry. Dry, drier, and we got happy, which becomes happier. And do you know any other that goes in this one? Any other example? How about empty? Empty, emptier. Okay, then another thing that we have to take into account is that for adjectives with two syllables or more, or more syllables, we add more before the adjective. For example, when we say more expensive, more beautiful, What else can we say? More exciting, for instance. And for the longer adjectives, we use more. More expensive, more beautiful, more exciting. And I got also more handsome, more intelligent. Now let's repeat them. Large, larger. Large, larger. 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 Nice, nicer. Nice, nicer. Pretty, prettier. Pretty, prettier. Dry, drier. Happy, happier. Happy, happier. Empty, emptier. Empty, emptier. More expensive. More expensive. More beautiful, more beautiful, more beautiful, more beautiful, more exciting, more, more exciting. exciting. And we also have some exceptions or some irregular comparatives, which are, for example, the most common ones. Good. What is the, the comparative for good? Do you know it? Any ideas? We saw it in Mal. the conversation. Mal. It's better. Good, better, and bad. What is the comparative for bad? Worse. Worse. So we say better than or worse than. Okay, so we're going to continue practicing a little bit of the comparative adjectives next class. Now we need to take a couple of minutes to explore the, the exam, the midterm exam that we must do today, tomorrow, or the most on the weekend. So yeah, let's remember about that one, please. And let me show you what it is. So here in section three, we got the midterm exam. It has five different parts. And it starts with a listening exercise. Loading. Okay, in exercise A or part A, we have a listening exercise. It says, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. So here you have the audio, you listen to it as many times as you need, and then you choose the correct option over here. Um, that will be pretty much it. Then you have a second conversation, you listen to it, and once again, you answer or you pick the right answers. Then in part B, we have a fill in the blanks exercise. The instruction says, fill in the blanks with the correct form of B. And remember that we're using B in the present, so that is am, um, is, or are. And then in part number two, we complete the, the conversation with the simple present. So use the simple present with the auxiliaries do or does. And 
end. Then in part C, we have to circle the word. We choose the right possessive adjective. Here you have some blanks and you must choose the, the answer that fits in the blank. Then we got a second part, which is about choosing the proper object pronouns. Once again, you got some blanks and some options. You choose the right one. Then we get to exercise E, which is complete the sentences. In that case, you have to fill in the gaps with the correct time expressions. So here we use in, on, at, around, a early, late, until. So it depends on the one that you need. Remember that here that you have to type, you have to be really careful with the spacing and with the punctuation. Recordemos que hay que ser muy cuidadosos con los espacios y con la puntuación porque eso es uno de los puntos que la plataforma eh, toma muy en cuenta, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay que tener cuidado con eso. Then we have part number two, filling the sentences with demonstrative pronouns. Once again, you have to type them. So be careful with spacing and with the punctuation. At last, we have our reading exercise. It says, read the email, then check the correct answers. So here you have the email, it's kind of short. You read it, then you are going to answer by selecting the correct option over here. And that will be it for the midterm exam. Do we have any questions about it? No questions? All right, so that's all for today's class. Remember that tomorrow we do not have a class. So I'll see you on Monday. Take care, everybody. Have a nice weekend and have a good Thank you, teacher. Good morning. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thanks. Everybody. Take care, everyone.